here I'm showing you what to do very first called training but that is the very first session with an eight week old puppy that was just brought to us to be trained so the first thing I do is I show the puppy that my f my hand is a magazine providing food as you see she doesn't really have a big idea about it I'm using hot dogs that are quartered so very little pieces now she's busy exploring I don't blame her if that would be a dog that already knows that I'm a source of food and we're actually training I would break up the session but she first of all has to learn that all goods come from me and it's possible to get food out of my hand so I'm just waiting for her to make a decision and come back and she probably will because it's getting boring just to explore the room there she is and I'm trying to make it comfortable for her or highly consider to take food out of my hand you'll see during the session that I advance all the way to her following my hand and picking up food as she's doing so here I'm giving it to her while she is up on her hind legs kind of jumping but I need to get the idea across her mind first of all that it's even possible so if she's oriented upward into my lap at this point I don't mind later on I do not feed her up there but that's here kind of a very very start of how we do it and if you realize here it is she smells a hot dog down there so she leaves me on my lap and goes for the hand I want her to understand the hand is the dispensary I'm not talking during this whole process. I'm just letting her figure out that, hey, here is where it's at. Here again, she's jumping, trying to get it up there. I show her, hey, it's down here. So the dog will prefer to be down there instead of up in the air. As you notice, I'm, I'm, I make sure that it's not just one piece in a touch and go. My hand is loaded and I'm trying to dispense one after another so she is not taking a break in between eating unless she is distracted because she's brand new to the whole process and the environment. Here I'm already making her move into my hand following it and eating. That's the next step. I kind of manipulated her into going down to the floor and she gets fed down there. Now she's really starting to get the idea.
no reward for jumping up there even though the food is sitting there she needs to learn aha uh -huh, it's coming out of my hand I'm not saying anything I'm just waiting for her to make the decision to come back get the food out of the magazine and here I'm introducing the other hand believe it or not left hand or right hand it's not just a hand it's a different hand so I introduce both hands and here I'm already feeding her which is a different technique for her to manipulate my hand I'm feeding her palm down so she has to kind of dig upwards into my hand in order to get it which are all important features I want left hand right hand palm down palm up <clears throat> no difference you learn how to manipulate the magazine and get the food out of it important part really is to make her as soon as possible follow my hand because that's how we'll create behaviors the dog doesn't know how to follow the hand with the food <clears throat> you can't manipulate the dog into a certain position or a certain movement for that matter no jumping there so my feeding <clears throat> onto the ground or off on four in in four feet on the ground takes more and more effect Right hand, left hand. She stays pretty focused by now. And that's where I'm going to end the session.